Hello, I'm Brett Dupree, and welcome to my awesome health journey. And I'm here to tell you I'm a mantra, mantra man. I want to be a mantra man. That was as corny as I thought it was. Yes, I love me a good mantra, something that I say to myself over and over again. And the new one I have picked up and have been using it for a while, pretty much since the beginning of this uh, health journey, is that movement is life. And... That's the mantra I take since I started watching that TikTok many a years ago where I decided that I'm going to move at least three times a week uh, for half an hour and make that a minimum and make that a life goal. As I've talked many times, I am someone who's really good at getting excited about something and then um, kind of like less excited about it, especially if things don't go exactly my way. And it's helped a lot, and especially in uh, keeping this uh, fitness journey up. I'm at 291 uh, workouts now at Orange Theory. Or maybe, yeah, I think 291. So, so close to 300 um, for two years. I still go on walks. And that's with the medication that actually met makes it harder. Metformin makes my body hurt more, and Ozempic does reduce my drive a little bit. But still, uh, the whole making um, making my workouts not negotiable because movement is life. And the fact that I don't enjoy working out still. I worked out today and I was like, man, I wish I was home. Part of me, especially towards the end, I didn't feel that rush of adrenaline that I go, oh my God, I'm so happy I did this. Uh, well, I was happy I did it. I'm, I'm not going to take that back. I felt accomplished, which feels good. So uh, there are some good feelings. I'm not going to say there's no good feelings from working out. It feels good to push myself. It feels good to accomplish something. But it's more like the, along the lines of accomplishing something that I find difficult rather than enjoying the actual experience of it. Even though I do, kind of, I do enjoy walking. I'll have to say that's actually something I do enjoy. I always have. Um, I remember I was actually talking to my dad. And I used to, like, go to my friend's house, and my friend was, like, two, three miles away, maybe longer, maybe, like, five miles away. I was in shape back then. And then sometimes during the summer, I just wanted to walk, get in shape, because I was wanted to stay in decent shape. And I was like, I'll just walk there. I don't need a ride. And, you know, it's a good time. It clears my mind. So I do enjoy walking, um, even though I... Haven't been walking much, honestly, since I've started Ozempic, I haven't been walking much. Uh, plan on going a walk. I need to walk soon. I was going to walk tomorrow, but I have an event after work. And yeah, I'm really good at making excuses. But anyways, for the most part, I'm, a, I'm just saying, like, I don't love and enjoy exercise, but every day I might do that, I think, you know, movement is life. I'm here to do it. I'm here to improve. I'm here to get better. I'm here to move. You got to move it, move it. Movement is life. Uh, because, it, you know, you need to move. I sit at a desk all day. I don't play outside like I did as a kid all the time. I don't play sports like I did in high school. And I saw what that did to me. Um, and, yeah. I know I mentioned this over and over again. And I'll mention it again. Move for movement's sake. Uh, that's worked. I'm now two years down the road. And I haven't lost my motivation to do so. Uh, because I'm not tying it to weight loss. Um, I think in the past, especially when if I weighed myself on a daily basis, especially last, like, August? I think last August? About six months ago, eight months ago, nine months ago, I actually gained weight from, I think, August to October, I think. Um, or when I did the transformation challenge at uh, Orange Theory. During that eight weeks, I gained weight. Um, those are things in the past that would knock me off my butt and make me feel bad about myself. And they did both times. I did feel bad about myself. But since I'm not equating feeling good about myself and moving, um, at least when it comes to weight, you know, I was able to continue to move. And I'm better off now than I was definitely last August. And or October, or even February. I'm better off than I was February. And yeah, I mean, I do the other things to motivate me, you know, keeping track of all that data helps. 
and I'm a data I'm a data nerd, so seeing my improvement on there. But you know, there's times where like my monthly improvement's not all that great. That something would derail me in the past. Um, heck, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, something like Veronica leaving. Uh, the, you know, someone I look forward to seeing every day. That derailed me in 2010. Her name was Jennifer Atosi, I think her name was. I really liked going to her step class, and then she stopped teaching step, and that hurt my motivation for going. Always looking for an escape not to exercise this man. Who has two thumbs and always looking for an excuse not to exercise this man? But no, I decided finally, after fudging, I'm about to be 46, so I guess 44 years of existence on this planet, I finally found a way to motivate motiv motivate myself motivate, it's not a word, motivate myself into moving, and that's just to make moving my goal. Uh, moving, moving, moving. So movement is life, movement is life, movement is life. If I give you one set of advice, is that movement is life. Do something at least three times a week where you move your body. It could be dancing, it could be gym, it could be a walk, it could be anything. I implore you, just move your body. In fact, that would be the only, if I had a fitness, health fitness book, that's what it would say. It would say, movement of life, chapter one, move your body. And then that would be it. That's it. Just one chapter with like one paragraph. Find something you can do. Find something you can enjoy doing. Find something you can tolerate doing. Um, like, yeah, like, I don't love the Orange Theory workouts, but I do enjoy going there. I enjoy saying hi to the people. I enjoy the little connections that I've made with my fellow Orange Theory people. I enjoy that, and I enjoy not having to think about my workout. I don't have to go to a gym and uh, plan anything, wait for someone to be done with a machine I want to do. I don't have to deal with that, you know? So, yeah, get all those, like, just find something that you could do. Uh, find something that you enjoy. Find something that's whatever stopping you from moving. Uh, do it. Do something that doesn't, you know, have those things. Luckily, at this point in my life, I found mine. Um, I might have to change it someday in the future. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for me. But as of now, it's working. And as of now, I'm doing it. So, yeah. So that's, that's, I'm generally trying to skip out giving life advice on this channel and just talk about my uh, self-centered ass, but move at least three times a week, at least 30 minutes. If you can do a little bit more, that's great. And walking is just perfectly fine, even if it's one of those stupid track pads. Some movement's better than no movement. There's just so many healthy things for your body. Um, if it was, if movement was a pill... You, you would pay thousands of dollars a month for it. In fact, I would do that because, so I don't have to move. So I could just be in shape on my couch. That would be sweet. But no, I have to move. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, listening to my insane rant, I thought this was going to be like a four-minute video. Well, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Um, this is me shooting a beam of love energy out of you like a Care Bear. Care Bear stare. Uh, I love you for who you are. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, thank you for all your support. And once again, as I always say, because I believe it is important to believe and to feel, you are worthy.